The fifth principle is education, training and information. Energy cooperatives provide education and training for their members, elected representatives, managers and employees, so they can contribute effectively to the development of their cooperative. They also inform the general public about energy democracy and the benefits of community energy. In France, Energie Citoyenne en Pays de Vilaine developed an escape game about energy savings. This interactive game educates young people to be more aware of their energy use. The sixth principle is cooperation among cooperatives. Energy cooperatives choose collaboration over competition and they strengthen the cooperative movement by working together through local, national, regional and international structures. For example, energy cooperatives around Europe join forces at Rescoop EU, the European Federation of Citizen Energy Cooperatives. More than 1,900 energy cooperatives exchange best practices, begin projects of collaboration and defend together their interests in front of the European institutions. Some Rescoop EU members have also offered financial support to other starting cooperatives. The seventh principle is the concern for community. While focusing on members' needs, energy cooperatives work for the sustainable development of their communities as a whole. In Greece, for example, when the island of Crete was hit by an earthquake in 2021, Minoan Energy Cooperative decided to cover the electricity needs of 50 families affected by the earthquake. Were you inspired by these principles and do you want to be part of the energy transition to energy democracy? Look for an energy cooperative in your area or start your own project and join the energy revolution. Yeah.